Welcome to Math TV with Professor V. I'm back on Saturday, October 15th, 2022 with the integral of the day. We have here integral from 6 to infinity of 1 over x squared minus 25 dx. So right away you should notice, okay, this is an improper integral based on the limits of integration. So we need to rewrite it immediately as the limit as t approaches infinity of the integral from 6 to t. And I'll leave it for now, dx over x squared minus 25. So now let's start thinking about how we're going to want to integrate 1 over x squared minus 25. So think about all your integration techniques. Partial fraction decomposition is going to be the way to go with this one. So let's take care of that. I'll just do it off to the side here. I need to factor that denominator, the x squared minus 25. So we're going to have 1 over x minus 5 times x plus 5. And so both of those are linear factors not repeated. So I'll have a over x minus 5 plus b over x plus 5. And then next step, I'm going to multiply everything through by x minus 5x plus 5. I won't write that out. We'll just do it in our heads. So we have 1 equals a times x plus 5 plus b times x minus 5. All right, a couple of ways to solve them. I'll do one that I haven't done before for you guys. So let's let x equal negative 5. If I do that, then we have 1 equals a times 0 plus b times negative 10, which tells us then that b is equal to negative 1 tenth. And then to solve for a, similarly, I'm just going to let x equal positive 5. And then now that would give me 1 equals, I'm substituting that into here. 1 is equal to uh, a times 10 plus b times 0. And then we can see, all right, that means a is equal to positive 1 over 10. All right, so now let's go back to this integral. I'm going to rewrite the integrand, this stuff, using our partial fraction decomposition. So let's see, we'll have the limit as t approaches infinity, integral from 6 to t, I shouldn't have done the dishes just now because my hands are wet. <laughs> okay, from 6 to t. And then notice here we're going to have a over x minus 5. So that's 1 tenth over x minus 5. And then b is negative 1 tenth. So I'm just going to put minus 1 tenth over b is over x plus 5 and then dx for all of this. Okay, why don't we go ahead and just factor out this 1 tenth from the integral. It'll make things nicer to work with. So we've got limit t approaches infinity, 1 tenth times the integral from 6 to t, 1 over x minus 5 minus 1 over x plus 5 dx. Fabulous. Okay, from here on out, integrating should be easy. You shouldn't even need to do a u substitution if you let u equal x minus 5 du as dx, right? So really no point. Um, we're just going to have natural log of absolute value of each of those denominators. So now we've got limit t approaches infinity of 1 tenth times, this is going to be ln absolute value x minus 5 minus ln absolute value x plus 5 and then all of this is evaluated from 6 to t. All right now I'm noticing since I'm going to have to take a limit momentarily before I start plugging in my limits of integration if I were to take the limit as t approaches infinity this argument would approach infinity so ln of that <clears throat> would be a, approaching infinity as well, and so with this term. So we'd have infinity minus infinity, which is indeterminate. And to get around that, we're going to use our properties of logarithms, 
and condense these into a single logarithm. So I'm just gonna do that now before I start evaluating at my limits of integration. So we're gonna have natural log absolute value x minus five over x plus five. And then I'm gonna evaluate this now from six to t. Okay, you could do it now, you could do it later. I'd rather just get it done with now. So from here, let's see, we've got limit, t approaches infinity, one tenth, we'll have natural log of absolute value, t minus five over t plus five, minus natural log absolute value, six minus five over six plus five. Okay, okay, okay. So let's see, as t is approaching infinity, I can go ahead and I have a composition of functions, right? I have ln of t minus five over t plus five. I can pass the limit through and evaluate the limit as t approaches infinity of t minus five over t plus five. It should be pretty clear that that's gonna approach one, right? If you divide by the highest power of t, if you need to see that or write it out, then go for it. Here's another aside. So the limit as t approaches infinity, I don't need the absolute value because we're approaching positive infinity. So we've got t minus five over t plus five. If I divide numerator and denominator by t, like we should when we have limits to infinity, we'll have one minus five over t over one plus five over t. Both these five over t's go to zero. And so this limit ends up being one. Okay, good. So then now, if I return with all that lovely info back to my original limit, then we have one tenth times natural log of one minus natural log, this is gonna be one over 11. Let's just leave it like that for now, one eleventh, okay? And then we can clean things up. Notice I'm not writing lim anymore because I've already evaluated the limit and there's no more t's in this problem. Ln of one, that's zero. So now I just have one tenth times negative natural log one over 11, but we know we can move this negative sign, make it the exponent on the argument. So one over 11 raised to the negative first is just 11. So we can write our final answer as one tenth natural log of 11. How do you like that? Okay, so that concludes the integral of the day. It was definitely a trickier one because you have to be careful with your notation, certainly while you're working with these improper integrals and limits and whatnot. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay dry out there. It's drizzly here. I'm not accustomed to such things. But anyways, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up, share, turn on those notifications. And I also have a channel membership if you're interested in having access to exclusive content and new uploads sooner than the rest, then that's for you if you're all about that VIP life. And stay tuned, I got lots more videos coming your way. Bye guys.